and as always, thank you for watching. Uh, today we've been called by a customer that has a mechanical issue on one of their trucks. Uh, wants us to bring it back to our shop and see if we can fix it. So Ethan and, our, and I are off in this cold rain to uh, do what we have to do. Here we go. Okay, so we are here. I'm going to call the customer real quick and have him come out and get some paperwork taken care of and we'll uh, see if we can get this to go. Fire putter outer inside. That's cool. All right, so oh wow, yeah, man. I hope that didn't tear everything up. See right there, yeah. uh, the nut backed off, and the yoke is coming out. Somebody gonna owe this man a lot of money. Well, he said the shop was supposed to reimbursing. So he's already talked to him and all good. Not well, not good, but yeah. got it worked out anyway. This is a cold rain. Why are your pants not huge like mine? I don't know. Well, they are. Well, mine look like parachute pants. Yeah. Do they keep you dry? <laughs> That's all that really matters. If they keep you dry. All right. What are you going to go for? What you gonna go for? I know exactly what I'd go for. When, when we towed that one down to yeah, and saw the, yep okay. saw the rollover that's what I would use I just kind of forgot the cups were a thing for a second yep but I have good news from the yeah I put them back or I put the okay. little hooks back where they should be okay because for some reason somebody kept putting them up there but the cups are here now too good so. easy to access those are the two most common that we use so Go for it. I'll get the steering wheel secured. Go ahead and uh, undo your underreach or fold your underreach down and then we'll. Yep, okay. Well, it's better if your underreach is down first. I got it. Okay. Oh, I thought I did something wrong. Nope. It's, I had my had the valve open to unfold it, so as soon as you let off the clutch, it immediately engaged the hydraulics. I thought that I didn't do it right. Nope, you're good. I did like I did right. You're all good. All right, come on back.
it's just something you gotta get used to. You'll get it. You'll get it. Your other cup. I didn't grab it. I didn't. Nope. Now. You're not, hold on, neither one of us are lined up with the U-bolts. I got mine. Uh, Run it back some. Well, you know what to do. Quit. The T head is off just a little bit, or, or the truck is at an angle, whichever. Okay. It should slide out. Yeah, it should go ahead and pop in there. There you go, now. All right, whoa, whoa, before you lift, we gotta get the axle chains. Woo-wee, doggies. We're in need of more straps. That's the only one on this truck that I see. No? No, okay. Gotcha. There should have been like four more in that bucket. Okay, well, we need to get some more anyway because I got some that are worn out or getting worn out. Yep, that's them. You know how to set them up? I think so, at least if it's how Tom showed me. weight balancer they would have sand they would put sand in these and as it spins the theory was that the weight went to or the sand went to the yeah in theory in theory yes the way i see it it just kind of sit there oh watch out your chain's twisted down there Yep, hold this up with one hand. Yep. Here, took, no, take the other hook and put it up here. I, take one hook, it has two hooks for a reason. Take one hook and hook it into the frame rail right up here. Bring it back up. Hold this up. Okay. Take one chain, put it in there. And then this takes up the slack. Oh, okay. Yep, that's, that's what that's for. Right there. Used to, we'd take a, uh, all we had, we'd take 20 foot, three-eighths chains and run them all the way across. I don't like that. Yeah, you'd have to get it a little more snug if you can. I'll, I'll work on the steering wheel. You get her? The only thing that I didn't know what? on that, because I thought you'd just try to choke her or whatever. No, uh, that's that, how I did it before. That but. double one allows you to adjust the links on it. I see that now. Yep. All right, you're clear as a Ford. Oh. Hey, can you work on it? Go to 
solid base on the seat. Do what, bud? One of Rick's guys is up here. Really? You saw him in the Dodge. Oh, okay. What, well, the pump Dodge. I don't know where it went right now, but he uh, just drove around here, parked there for a second, and then went around. He may have just been checking out and see what was going on. Thing solid. Yo! Cut. Hold on. I'm having trouble hearing you. On these, I always drop over the top of the axle right here, but underneath the torsion bar. Yep. And then around the spring. Well. To the outside. Ah, nope. On this one, just around the axle. Just around the axle. Okay. Take the hook up like we always do. At least it's not pouring down rain like it was the other day on us. Bring the under reach in, that should be pretty close. Yep. <laughs> 
You got it. That's all right. You're good. Just bring in the underreach, then we can adjust the slack. There you go. All right, work the lights, and I'll watch the light bar. Now it's the last thing before you roll. Walk around. Yep. And do your walk around. Make sure everything's the way you want it. Make sure everything's secure. Hey, bud. I know I've pointed this out before, but especially with these, with these big air dams on them, you gotta watch. We're gonna, well, you're you're basically pulling a parachute. Yes. So, and on this wet road, we're not gonna, we're not going very far, we're not going very fast, so you don't have to worry about it. Uh, I like but it, the old ones where it was like, just a big old spoiler. Yeah. Those were nice. Yeah, we had that on uh, the, the old, old Marmon. The old Marmon. Yeah, that too. Uh, but anyway, the uh, if we were going any distance with this, we'd probably have to do some securement. Yeah. But since we're just going from here to the shop, I can take it slow. Yep. Long. Well, we can go mostly uh, city streets yeah. I until. Mean, I could go all the way to Bethlehem. Yeah. And then you've only got a mile and a half, two miles of interstate travel, and then you can still drop down to 60 or 65. You just, you just have to kind of gauge it by what you feel. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Those are the M6s you got on. Yeah. Okay. That's what I meant. I oh, didn't okay. mean like the strip lights. Because those should already be on. Right? They're on, but yeah. they, with that module bad, they won't flash right now.
I can't tell what they're getting ready to remodel. If it's going to be the Outback or one of the hotels or... steering wheel straight but yes. like I've told you that doesn't always mean that the if the wheel is lined up it's mostly with the yeah do you feel safe towing with it that way that's that's the yeah, question you can barely on. okay since you're the operator you got to make sure that you're comfortable with it if you want to stop and we'll adjust it oh. excuse me Hello? Yeah. No, we're on our way though. What's up? Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, have, uh, if they don't mind, uh, wait on me for just a few minutes. We're, we're hooked up and getting ready to uh, pull out uh, from like Outback Steakhouse onto Seamers Drive. Uh, so we'll just be 10 minutes max if they don't if they don't mind waiting. If if they'd rather just get it and go, that's fine. Uh, but I was going to help them out. Uh, as far as as far as getting the vehicle out of the storage, you know, uh, getting it out from from behind the lot, we'll put seat covers or something in there. Okay. All right, thanks. Bye. The one from yesterday afternoon. People have asked, no, the Sears Grand is not open. It closed, what, a year or more ago? Yeah. It's been a long time since it's been down. The only thing it's been used for since that I know of was, uh, huh? They lease it. Well, uh, they used it for that uh, Halloween store. Yeah. Uh, They've got another couple of small pop-up stores in it. Yeah, but Sears is no longer in this area. We got to use it for the spirit of Halloween season store. Yep, yep. Somebody needs to get some use out of all that square footage. That's a big well, old... They didn't even use half of it. Well, that's a big old building. That's a huge building. Spirit of Halloween. a shame that you know just these businesses just keep closing down they can't compete with uh, the online marketing and then they can't get help can't find people to work the restaurant over there that they just built they couldn't get enough people to staff it so they just shut the doors after they built a brand new facility or not long after. I ate there a couple of times, but it wasn't anything crazy. Yeah, but still, it's the. It's just it's saddening to know that you know these people have made the investments in trying to better the community and stuff, and you can't get people to work.
course, I'm sure you knew that, but a little trick to dry your gloves off. Okay, why is that? What happened? Because of the smell. Oh. Yeah. Well, those gloves needed to be pitched. Get you some new ones. I didn't use them for hand I understand. I get a decent look at where that uh, box truck crash up here. Over there, right? No, it was right down here. Right at oh, the... Yeah. Because right. yeah. uh, well, it was coming over well, it, the curve, getting onto the interstate. Well, saw you on the back here. Yeah, because it, it went across the uh, Ramsey Creek Branch Bridge, and as soon as it went across the bridge, since it had knocked the steering out, as soon as it crossed the bridge, it immediately turned right and went down the hill and into the trees. That gentleman's very, very fortunate to be alive. over this way too and then came back and hit the bridge again I don't know All right there's where he got the guardrail and there's where he hit the bridge again and then went you can see his tracks straight off down into the trees in that creek Careful 
on wet roads and slick roads doing that or with the engine brake or anything like that. You don't, otherwise you risk locking up the drive tires. But you did quite well. get back uh, you want to just leave it hooked up for now I'm not quite sure where we're gonna go with it but uh, I need to run in and uh, told Leanne well you heard the phone call help help take care of that uh, pickup truck for that family safe and sound everything's still where it ought to be now we'll see if we can get her fixed up as always thank you for watching god bless <laughs>